Hello and welcome back to PHP Basics. My name is Sean and today I want to talk to you about password security. Now, Oftentimes on this channel you see me make use of the simplicity of MD5 password encryption. While most of the time for the sake of tutorials focused on other things, MD5 works just fine, but it's important to know that MD5 and SHA-1 have major security flaws, and after being around for so many years, it's just not a secure way of storing passwords. Let me show you why. If I echoed out MD5 value of just the word password, right, if we take a look at this, this is that MD5 value. Um, if I refresh the page, this value never changes. And this is very bad, and I'll tell you why. If you're familiar with PHP, all you would have to do is download a plain text dictionary, use PHP to read that file, convert each word to an array, MD5 each one of those words, and then store that MD5 value along with the plain text value to your database. And now you've got a rainbow table that you can use against millions and millions of passwords. Okay, so that's just not a good thing to do. Uh, the same thing with SHA-1. Uh, if you refresh this page, it's always going to be the same. And another issue is this is just alphanumeric and they're all lowercase. So if a hacker knows that you're using MD5, that really cuts down the amount of work that they have to do. So how do we get around this? Well, best practice has shown us that we need to use what's known as a salt. And a salt is essentially just an extra layer of security on top of your password. So let me show you what I mean. Let's just say password equals the MD5 value of password. Now I'm gonna create a variable called salt, and this is just gonna be some arbitrary string of characters. My new password is going to be salt and then concatenate that with the password. Okay, so now if I echo new password, we're gonna see something that looks like this. It's got our arbitrary salt on here and then the MD5 value of that password. And this salt can be really whatever it is. The problem with that is most of the time if a website uses a salt, that's not algorithmically correct, it's going to be the same thing for every password. And the user is none the wiser to this. They just put in their password, and then on the back end, we either put this salt on the beginning or the end, and this is usually more of a complex number. At the same time, creating your own salts can be dangerous because if somebody figures out what that salt is, then all they have to do is run the actual password against that file again. So how do we get around that? Well, fortunately, PHP has done most of this for us. Newer versions of PHP come with a function called password hash. And there are a few different parameters. So the first value, or the first parameter, is just your password. And in this case, it's gonna be the word password. And then you have to specify what type of encryption you want to use. Now, by default, PHP is going to use bcrypt. However, we can just use password default and that will use whatever PHP has decided is best at that time. So as this function updates in the future, you don't have to worry about recoding all of your stuff. Now there's also a cost parameter which uh, dictates the number of iterations that it's going to salt your password. And we'll talk about that here in just a minute. But just so you know, the default is 10. The higher that iteration and the higher that cost, the slower it takes for your code to execute. 10 is a very good number, usually about 0 0.035 seconds. Um, so let's just echo this out and see what it looks like. All right, so now we have this long number here. This dollar sign $2y dollar sign shows what type of encryption it is. This 10 dictates the salt value, or I'm sorry, the cost value, and then you have a salt, and then you have your password, okay? So one thing to note is each time I refresh the page, this is going to be a different value. So it doesn't matter what's stored in the database. If someone tries to guess your password, this encrypted value is going to be different every time. Okay, so that might raise the question, if I store this value in the database as my user's password, well, the next time they sign in with that password, it's going to be a different value, right? So how do I verify that their password is actually the correct password? Well, the great thing about that is PHP has also provided um, a password verify, and let me show you how that works. So first I'm just going to do an include uh, on a connection to my database, which is just db.inc.php. If you wanna take a look at it, it's right here. A simple PDO connection going to localhost to a database called test, um, username, password. 
If we look on the uh, PHP My Admin, here's my test database, my accounts, and then uh, I have one record, username is Sean, and then my password, I've already entered in that password. Now one thing to note, and it's very important, is that you should set your password to 255 character links. Now currently, Bcrypt is only using 60 or 64 characters, but as that changes in the future, you might need more, and you'll have to redo your entire database of usernames if that happens. So it's better just to allocate 255 bytes to that right off the bat. Okay, so the way that this works is, let's just say my password uh, was the word password. And this would typically be from the post uh, variable from a form or something, but I'm just gonna put this in. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to query the database to get the value of the database password as it is. And to do that, I can just do stmt equals a new db query. And I'm just going to select password from accounts where username is equal to Sean because that's what I have here. Uh, so now, uh, just to take the shortcut around this, I can say if password verify, all right, so this is the function that PHP requires to verify the password, and it contains two parameters. The first one is your password that you've typed into your form, which for me is just password. And then the second is going to be whatever your database password is. And the quickest way to get this for a single result is just by doing stmt or whatever this variable was in PDO, fetch, and then password or whatever the value is. Okay, so what it's doing is it's verifying against your password and the password in the database. So if it's true, then we can echo password correct, and if not, we'll echo password incorrect. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute this and see what it tells me. All right, so it says my password is correct. Let's go ahead and just change this to something else. And now it tells me my password is correct. So it's actually doing the algorithm for you and checking against that encrypted value. As far as I know, this is the best method of encryption that's currently available uh, within PHP. All right, so let's go back for just a moment and talk about the cost of PHP or uh, the cost of PHP hash. Say so my password is password and I'm going to um, echo password hash. My first value is going to be my password. Second value is going to be password default. And then let's talk about this third parameter. Um, this is in an array because you have different options that you can use, but this is the cost property. And then let's give this a value of 10. Okay, so if I refresh the page, it's going to show the cost of that. Well, let's go ahead and bump this up to like 14 and see what happens. You can see it's taking a little bit longer to populate that password. And if I do 16, it's going to take even longer. So the idea is to test the speed of your server, find the level of uh, iterations that will work, but still keep your user load time down. So one thing that we can do, and I covered this in my last video, is use micro time to test the execution time of your script. So let's do a start variable, and it's just going to equal micro time. And then I'm also going to put one of those after the script as well. Just call this end. All right, so what I'll do is I'll echo a uh, line break first off. And then I'm going to echo the rounded value of end minus start. And we'll give that two decimal places. And we'll just say seconds. And that's gonna tell us how long it actually took to execute this particular script. So with a cost of 16, we can say it took 4.15 seconds. Most of the time, this is going to be unacceptable for your users. Um, if we go back down to 10, we can see that 0 0.0 seconds, that was very quick. We could try maybe 12. The user's probably not gonna mind waiting 0.26 seconds for their password to authenticate. So depending on the speed of your computer or the speed of your host, this cost can be different and you can get away with it. But like I said, the default value is 10. All right, so this is a quick introduction on how to use password hash and password verify for the latest and greatest type of PHP form security.